disgruntled Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers had rejected, yes, rejected a contract extension that would have kept him on the Packers for an extra two years and also in the process would have made him the highest paid annual quarterback in NFL history. Andrew, this news comes as Aaron Rodgers has still not reported the camp. He has sent out a lot of cryptic messages. He shown that he probably doesn't respect the way the Packers do business. He did that in the Kenny Main interview. We've talked about it all offseason. Is this news surprising considering everything that's happened this offseason? It's not surprising, but until he's traded, he's still a Packer. Just because he turned down the extension means nothing. You know, he's still he still can show up to training camp and, you know, he could he could hold out or something like that. That's that's up to him, but you know he's still he's still a Packer as far as I'm concerned. And hey, you know what? Giannis just won that chip, dude. They might, if it's desperate times, dude, they might get Gutekunst. Those dudes, they might get Giannis in there, sit him down, talk to him, and just be like, "Listen, buddy, as bad as it might be, j- just stick it out, and it could be worth it." They might get, they might bring Giannis in there. Giannis put up with a lot of shit too. The, a lot of the same bullshit Giannis put, and Giannis persevered. They might get Giannis to sit down with him and just be like, listen, man, you know, the city loves you. We love you. As much as it feels like the organization doesn't love you, they love you. You just got to, you know, just, just fucking keep grinding, dude. I think I think Rodgers has been through way more than Giannis has in his, like, over almost, like, 15 years in Green Bay or whatever it's been. Um, I don't think it's surprising either, though. I don't think it's surprising considering everything that's come out, like, you know, like we people want to shit on Adam Schefter for his reporting about this. Like, dude, Aaron Rodgers, it's obvious to anyone that Aaron Rodgers is not happy. The dude, it's dude, it's 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 what? It's it's the twenty second of July right now. The for a Hall of Fame game kicks off August fifth. We we are it is close as ever to the NFL season starting, and the starting quarterback of your team refuses to even show up to the facility, refuses to answer phone calls from your GM. That's a sign that something is wrong. Refuses to, to get, take a contract that would make him the highest paid player in NFL history. That is a problem. You have a and Packers fans who want to say, "Oh, he'll come back. We'll come back." You're in denial of a massive problem. It's not about the fans. It's not about the 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 Packers history and the players even. It's about the way this organization has gone about not even mistreating Aaron Rodgers, but ignoring him for the over the past decade. They've ignored him and he's done. Because the age of players putting up with this for, for 15 plus years, it's over. Aaron Rodgers has been here for 15 years and he he's seen Tom Brady go out there, build his own team be successful, win a chip his first year. He's seeing, you know, the NBA obviously has been happening over the past like like 15 years almost too. You know, he's seen all this happen. He's like, what am I doing here playing for a team, that for an organization that doesn't respect me, an organization whose values I don't like, an organization who doesn't get me the help that I want and need, who doesn't even consult me, didn't even tell me when they were drafting my successor. Because it's never... The biggest misconception is that this was about Jordan Love. It was never about Jordan Love. I, Aaron, if the Packers had told him that, or if, if they had told Aaron Rodgers that we like this kid, Jordan Love, we want to pick him, like we're going to do it, and like consulted him about it, I don't even think like it, Jordan, the whole Jordan Love thing would be as big a deal for him as it was. But the fact they didn't even tell him, the fact that he was on Pat McAfee's show the day of the draft thinking that they were going to get a receiver. And they didn't, and they drafted a successor, didn't even know it. Joe Flacco, of all people, was told about Lamar Jackson's draft before before uh, he was drafted. Joe Flacco was told that they were looking for a quarterback. Like, And you don't treat Aaron Rodgers with that amount of respect? The best quarterback? The, the dude who's throwing 150 yards deep balls on golf courses? He threw the ball 150 yards in the air. At what? What is he now, 36? Like, it, it's... It's asinine. It is not surprising, and not, he might and he's first. gone. He's gone. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care about the reports. I'm sorry. Until he shows up to training camp, Aaron Rodgers is gone. Um, that that and that's just how I feel. Yeah, I think mentally he has checked out. Um, you know, I think you know he might if he does even play out this season at all in Green Bay, it would just be this season. See how things go, and you know. See what happens, but as it stands right now, dude, he is still a Green Bay Packer. Uh, rejecting that extension, obviously, it does not look good for the Packers organization, but time will tell what happens.
Yeah, time will tell what happens. And and the other question I have going off of this is, where do you think both the Packers and Rodgers kind of go from? More, more specifically, the Packers. The Packers are looking at a situation where football kicks off in less than two weeks, and they don't have their starting quarterback in training camp, gelling with the receivers, gelling with the offense, trying to you know get ready for the season. And he's been disgruntled and all that. You have Blake Bortles on the roster. You have Jordan Love on the roster. Who Jordan Love, they said he's gotten better this offseason. So take that with a grain of salt, though. But where did the Packers go from here if Aaron Rodgers just decides not to show up? If they better they better take the worst-case scenario approach and just have those other guys just try to build as much chemistry as they can in the coming weeks with their receiving core and with that offensive line. And, you know, they have to take the worst-case scenario and just hope that Rodgers does show up because – Obviously, best case scenario is Aaron does show up. Worst case scenario, though, they have to plan for it and they have to be ready for it. They actually they have to expect it. That's the approach they should take. Yeah, I mean, expecting it like like it's they have yeah. Blake Bortles, dude. You gotta understand, dude. Blake Bortles is not a scrub, okay? He's not I mean, good. He's not good, but he's not a scrub. He's not that, a scrub. I don't think he's a scrub. I think he he'll be he'll Jackson be fine. Bro. He'll be a fine. He'll be a fine backup. Like. He took Jacksonville to the AFC championship. Now, do I think he is Aaron Rodgers? Of course not. But that is an AFC championship caliber level quarterback they have in Green Bay to go along with Jordan Love. And I think they should – they got to start building the chemistry with those guys now, dude, just as, as much as they can because they have to expect Aaron to not walk through those doors. And when he does yeah. – you know what? If he does, that's great. But they have to be. He, ready. Well, he won't be there for long, though. He like if if he does, the like, and again, he, we're we're close to the uh, deadline here. If he does walk through those doors, this will be the last season Aaron Rodgers ever plays as a Packer. Garen damn teed. Take it to the bank. Um, uh, and Andrew, not, let, and, and you know what? What they could do is they could just make this a lost season. Um, they could start Jordan Love, make this a lost season, and you got Spencer Rattler coming out next year, and they could do that too. Yeah, man. That Jordan Love pick is actually getting worse and worse by the day. And again, Jordan Love could be good. We just no idea. We'll find out next. We'll find out in two weeks. We'll find out in two weeks how how, how good Jordan Love actually is. Keaton Slovis. You got Jordan Love. You got that kid from North Carolina coming out next year. I mean, you got some you got some studs coming out. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.